Hi, it's Carl Ford in the TMC Newsroom, and I'm here with uh, Dinesh uh, B. Saparamu. Correct? Yep. Came close, anyway. Anyway, Dinesh, Dinesh um, uh, this is going to be a fun conversation because we've got a mutual friend with, uh, with our pal Alan Quayle, and we've had a lot of discussions about how to develop system uh, applications in the future, which the future is now with you. So tell me about, how do I say it, HSENID? Yes, yeah, SENID. Synod. Synod. Now there's a trick here, so teach me the trick. You have to read. You have to read it backward. Ah, it's the Nesh backwards. There we go. Yeah. That's the name. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So now you're building a platform uh, that basically enables developers to uh, work with companies in Asia and Africa. Correct. So tell me about what the platform does and what. Uh, Developers can work. How developers can work with you? Yeah. So what we have done um, is uh, built an uh, ap application pa platform. It's called a, a Cloud Tap. It's a complete cloud services, and it has three components. It has a um, um, component that um, this um, expose of all the APIs of the network assets. Then it has a developer community and a telco app store. So for an operator, what they would do is, you know, once they come on board on this, you know, they will be able to really build a developer community that can actually build applications and publish it through the telco app store and let the subscribers decide which ones are going to be the killer apps. So that's the, you know, very simple, I think that's what it is. And unlike um, the app stores that we have in the U.S. today, where they're very, they're very over the top and have nothing to do with the network, you're finding that you've got customers who are app developers that are building, in effect, network-centric apps, right? Correct, yes. So the idea here is because if you really think about operators, the operator network assets are really, they're, they're sitting on a gold mine. You know, you know, I mean, from a text messaging for your USSD to your roaming, uh, ro roaming apps and the subscriber profile. So once you can start exposing some of these things to the developers, the, the, the rich applications the developers can build is immense. I think that that will take, you know, so, you know, I mean, that's why I always tell the operators, you know, the next killer app will come from somebody where they will be, think of something that is completely, you know, that we have not even thought of. I think that's where, and what we need to do is to enable them, let them come up with the greatest app. Okay, and just, um some of the some of the apps that you're seeing already on your platform are kind of text based talk about some of the apps that yeah so so we have apps that you know tells people you know how much you match with each other you know you send some information tells you you know where, whether you are a 60% match or you are a 90% match you know so during the the whole valentine times you know things go up and down mm -hmm. on that we have applications that where these guys have developed um, it's called a yalu it's an application that really does you know a group chat, but the beauty of this, you know, how he had promoted this, even in the in a market where social media has become one of the key element of promoting these apps, um, people have been using it. So he has a re good revenue stream that he is he is getting. We have applications that talks about, you know, uh, a, I'm interested in in a subject. So you actually have now channels that they are building. They are saying, okay, so in in Sri Lanka where I come from, you know, cricket is a, is a crazy game we all you know love cricket so but can I listen to the commentators who are that I am interested in mm -hmm. not what the operator says this is your cricket channel so we have multiple people who are doing commentaries on that and you know I, I will subscribe to the area that I'm interested in so that's where it's you know it's becoming very personalized and and from an operator standpoint it's great because you're actually exposing your uh, network assets you're getting recurring revenue and uh, for the subscribers, it's a fantastic because I'm getting what I want. It's not what I've been told to get. Right, right. And, and one of the key ingredients, one of the reasons why we're talking about this right now is you're looking for the developer community, right? So, Correct. So you've got a revenue sharing model with the developer community that yeah, makes so, sense? Yeah, right. so, so what we are, I mean, we have about 1,500 developers now. So what we are looking is... For, for North America and for U.S. developers, you know, we have a great presence in um, Asia as well as in Africa. So we will, this platform will help them to go into this, you know, uh, for these markets. So that's our key, key objective. We're also looking to see who are the partners that we can work with in monetizing this whole network-centric app development 
and, and bring it into this market. Because messaging is going to be key. If you really look at what you can build around messaging, I think you know, in, in North America, I, I think even less, less than 50% um, of the apps that can be developed are not here. Yeah, we, we, we haven't understood messaging yet. We still, you know, I think we still got the gap. You're, you're, you're still discovering it. Yes, exactly. So I think there's some great opportunity there. Um, so one last question, which is um, besides, uh, obviously, you're kind of independent of any device phone, Correct. per se, and in, in your marketplaces, there are very few smartphones. But there is MMS. There is the ability to do some video functionality. Correct. So, yeah. so you have the feature phones. So the feature phones you have, uh, your basic text messaging, MMS. Then you have you know certain amount of video or USSD. So what we have, what our platform provides also is a discovery can be from each of these areas. So if you, I mean, in, in a feature phone, you can have a, a USSD discovery or you can have an IVR discovery. So you don't need to be on a smartphone to discover these apps. And um, what happens is, you know, the App Store, it's like, you know, other ones, it's, it's dynamic. It will tell you what are the top apps, you know, people have subscribed to or people have downloaded. So for me, as a subscriber, when I come on to it, I say, okay, and, you know, what are the recommendations that I see on that? So we, we see it's a great opportunity, and um, we want to work with um, partners to actually take it to some of the, uh, the other operators and aggregators. So I'm looking to hear more success stories. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much.